Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day with my horrible voice. I know my voice is gone. You know the deal. I was in a concert. I was at a party. I barely could speak. Mm. I couldn't speak at all yesterday. That's why I couldn't do videos. And now, like, <clears throat> it's it's getting you know it's coming back little by little and we'll see you know for now i have you have to bear with me you know i have to speak like slowly and calm and i cannot scream and like be too extra because literally like my voice doesn't let me you know like if i go to if i go to you see if i go too fast they're still going like that so <clears throat> but anyways how are you guys? I hope that you're having an amazing week. It is a Monday and we are full of energy for this week. Am I right? Okay, so guys, I have some exclusive tea, you know, for you with some regular tea at the same time about the Real Housewife of New Jersey. Okay, so get ready. Bring your tea, bring your coffee, bring your blanket and let's get down to business. Let's talk about this mess, honey. Okay, so as you know, um, The Real House of New Jersey, it's almost done filming. And they were actually supposed to film in the Berkshires, the Berkshires, you know? And there were some rumors going around saying that they, that they were going to stay at Dorinda's place and that Dorinda was going to be joining them. And we all get very excited because I wanted to see at least two or three episodes with Dorinda in there with the ladies of New Jersey. I think I think that would have been amazing, you know. Uh, but there was that was just a rumor, you know, that, that that was going to happen. However, I got some clarification because then we got another news saying that the trip to the Berkshires actually got canceled because the place that they were going to be staying born born you know born to the ground basically you know so i was talking to some people walking around and i couldn't i, I could find some answers and also some like a D right here for you okay <clears throat> so let's talk first about the workshops because apparently they in fact were at bluestone manor and they in fact apparently filmed something okay but they did not stay there they were just there for a lunch. So I'm thinking like, why didn't they stay there? The whole the whole thing, you know? I don't know. Maybe they, they, they didn't want to pay Dorinda or I have no idea. But apparently they were only there for a lunch. Um, the house that they, they were supposed to stay, in fact, burned down, you know? And now apparently the trip is getting canceled. So we don't know exactly how are they going to like reproduce the whole, because this was supposed to be the season finale, you know, and now they have to like rechange everything. Again, I feel that having a season finale on Bluestone Manor, that would have been like insanely good, you know, but it is what it is. Now let's talk a little bit about the exclusive tea because apparently... Well, you know that Jennifer Aiding and Daniel Cabral, you know, got into it. They have that physical altercation. They they got into a lot of trouble, especially Daniel. You know, apparently Daniel was the instigator, was the one who did the whole thing. You know, and the new the the the, the rumor on the streets are that Jennifer is completely completely done with Danielle. She doesn't want anything to do with her. You know. And the worst part is that she is that she did call her out on camera. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of tension between Jennifer and Danielle. Apparently, Jennifer cannot stand Danielle. You know, at the beginning they were really close. They were really stay friends for for a certain period of time. But Danielle st start doing things that Jennifer like was very sauce about. You know, and he was like, okay what are you doing okay there has been a lot of rumors going around that danielle has been trying to just jump through every single friendship just to like get a position on the show you know and just to get um i don't know if social climbing or exactly what she's trying to do you know but apparently she was just being fake with absolutely everyone and jennifer 
is going to be calling her out. So good for Jen because this is what we need. We need real people calling the fake people out, right? Um, it says that that okay jennifer th apparently thinks that danielle is way too selfish to have her around and she doesn't want her near her anytime soon um apparently danielle only gained fans just because she so okay apparently the whole jumping into a friendship with Teresa judas and danielle was just so she could become a fan favorite and get like fans around her because of being over there and as soon as she got what she thought was a good amount of like recognition that's why she's now jumping to the other side and apparently she's also i'm this is the thing that daniel i don't think daniel understand this but new jersey is not like any other franchise you know, and even though there are two teams that are very specific, you know, you cannot be jumping from one side of another because we don't like that, especially in New Jersey. New Jersey is a place that is based on loyalty, you know, on real friendship. And doing that, not even I not even with Margaret and, and Melissa, I don't think it's really gonna work out because now everyone is seeing her for who she is which is a disloyal flip-flopper. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of happy that Jennifer is like cutting that from her life. She doesn't really need that. Again, I feel that it was, I was so disappointed in Danielle because I really thought that she could really be a good housewife. But and I'm, and I'm not talking only about, you know, not being friends with Teresa or Jennifer anymore. It's about the fact that she's being fake. You know, it's about the fact that she is now looking like a thirsty housewife. I feel that even Rachel is more original because if, even though Rachel is obsessed with Melissa Gorga, you know, and, and it's like her BFF, at least she's standing her ground. You know, at least she's like, yes, I'm Melissa Gorga's bitch, period. You know, but Danielle with the, here, here, you know, and I love you and I hate you and this and that. I'm going to talk bad to this person, to this person, you know. There are so many shit coming out from her and skeletons from her closet that, yeah, I think we, we are going to be in for a rough awakening when it comes to Miss Danielle Cabral. But the tea is that Jennifer allegedly is done so. She is over. And I don't know if that friendship is going to be able to recover. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below about all of this. And if you want to get all the tea related to the Real Houses of New Jersey or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.